And as California struggles with the ongoing effects of wildfires, researchers at Stanford are working to understand long-term threats that may affect neighbors, firefighters, and the forest itself. ABC 7 News meteorologist Drew Tuma has the story. The gray smoky skies can be seen for hundreds of miles, but now researchers are on the trail of wildfire threats that are invisible to the naked eye. The result of intense heat from wildfires burning longer and hotter. When we start getting really severe fires, we see a transformation where the really, really intense fires leave these lasting impacts on the soil. Scott Fendorf is leading a multi-year study with Stanford's Door School of Sustainability. They examine soils and forest areas that have been slow to recover from recent wildfires in the Sierra and elsewhere. Although early research has pointed to cycles of drought, Fendorf and his colleagues identified toxic concentrations of chemicals in the soil, which could also be slowing regrowth. It really shows that it isn't just drought, that it really is a consequence of a number of toxins being produced that end up altering the soil, along with physical changes that then retard ecosystem recovery. He believes the chemical changes are driven by the intense heat from recent fires. In an earlier study, the team found the process can change certain naturally occurring metals into a toxic compound called chromium-6. While evidence of those chemical changes is building, the team is working on another question, which is urgent. Just how far do those toxic particles travel? He says the results are still preliminary, but concerning. As an example, the Canadian wildfires were bringing smoke down into New York, into Washington, D.C., and throughout the eastern seaboard. Our current modeling shows that those would all have been bringing these same toxic metals into those populations a thousand miles or more away. Stanford researcher Sharon Chintraja studies breathing and allergies and effect on the immune system. She's concerned about the unknown levels of exposure. The total amount is what we're worried about. Um, absorbing, whether that's through the skin, through our respiratory tract, um, through our eyes, right, um, or ingesting it. So these are all important considerations. Professor Fendorf says his team will be working through the current wildfire season, trying to develop threat models based on everything from geology to a fire's duration to wind conditions, all in an effort to keep firefighters and others safer from toxic exposure in an era of climate change and increasingly intense wildfires. At Stanford, Drew Tuma, ABC 7 News.